Well, the human diplomat has arrived. Doesn't say much. World is the same as ever. And bids me farewell. Or he will hang out for a while. In the, ta in the tavern, most likely. We also now have a road of barf. <laughs> the absolutely huge road of barf to uh, where the cages are being placed. Anything he's cancelled? It doesn't seem like any of them got suspended or cancelled yet. This guy's been there freaking out. Because apparently it's a major injury for him to be outside. Devastatingly major injury. And these guys are still there. I'm really hoping all these goblins opening up right next to them will wake him up. <coughs> and those guys are in there cleaning up that mess. Oh, did you see what I did with this thing? <laughs> eh. Someone's grown attached to another cap shield. Good for him. And guess what hasn't started yet? This dude is still in a strange mood. Currently he's carrying more bones. We may never know what he's actually making because it's stuck in there. Oh look, micro line. Can I scroll through that? No. Can I do this to see what's in it? No. It looks like a bunch of rope. That just gives me some more robes. Yeah, modifying that didn't change anything. It's still full of coats and robes. I just counted as armor or something. Let's see. Robe. Clothing. Do 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 do. Oh, doesn't say. Work similarly. Yeah, I don't know where that's supposed to be stored. Filling all cabinets and covering them all. Cleaned, owned. Hmm. Oh well. I don't really know what they're doing. I just turned it on to do that. I turned on dwarf hack so it take care of worn items. Which is helpful. Doesn't actually take care of the worn items they're wearing, but it is helpful. And this guy says it. Makes it a few steps. Panics because he's outside. And stops. Makes it a few steps. Panics because he's outside and stops. Makes it a few step steps. Panics because he's outside and stops. It's kind of really. I get a little bitty noise every time I do it. 
Still taking care of the goblins. Are those heads? I bet that's like goblin heads. Yep. <laughs> heads of goblins. And then someone's right hand. Because the sword dwarf is good at that. <coughs> and they're sparring again. So. That training is like incredibly effective now that they spar and don't actually hurt each other it used to be that sparring was dangerous and they'd usually end up in the hospital not the case anymore Ooh, Godin has started his construction in fact we'll take the time to do a jump cut now until he finishes we'll be back momentarily help oh, we're back could he have made a nice piece of clothing no of course not. He made a bag. He made a bag that in the next version of the game will cause wars. Highest quality, decorated. It's a llama wool bag, decorated with llama wool and sheep's wool, and circled bands of alpaca wool, cow bone, sagrain wood, rib wood, and made from llama wool cloth. Massive spikes of copper. Image of purple amaranth and microline. It's a decent material to make a purple amaranth out of. Image of bell bridges, the dwarf, and giant stoats in copper. Admiring the giant stoats. Image of the youthful innocence, the steel rinsed, and yellow zircon. Image of dwarves and cowbone, the dwarves are laboring. It relates to the foundation of key housed by the purple tower, the mysterious trumpets, and the spring of, oaf of five. So yeah, it's, uh, 39,000. Eh. Kind of, um, kind of could have used, like, anything else. And I mean anything else. What's your problem? General. Drink. Second by the sun, and there is our wonderful barf road. And I believe this dude... Nope, he's not doing it. I've already set these to be linked up to this lever. Like the other batch was. And so maybe we'll get to the point where... Eventually, get to the point where we can hook that up. If only more than one dwarf could do that job at a time. That'd be a bit handy. But it might get these traders to at least run off. These merchants get them to at least run off but hey oh well uh, what are you eating <laughs> roasts peach roasts guinea and egg roasts we're not lacking in food by any regard not at all but I'm going to do another jump cut here and we'll maybe end up ending the episode a little bit early I don't know not a hell of a lot's going on. It's going to take like a year before these get finished getting hooked up to levers. In the meantime, I don't have a caravan. And the human caravan hasn't arrived either. Ah, <sighs> joy of joys. Jump cut. Hello, we are back. And uh, reopening the floodgates. process that is taking an extraordinarily long time. Basically trying to flood these uh, these spaces. We do have that area kind of finished, but I want it out there too. And it's just a lot of water that's required for this. That's not too bad once this fills up. Because this area isn't dug out or anything, this will fill up really quick. And then this area will fill up afterwards, and we'll be able to drain everything. But I've got to keep letting, i got to keep closing the gates and letting this build up again. And then reopening them, because otherwise it just doesn't really work right. Which is a bit problematic. Because it already takes long enough to flood this. 
an exorbitant amount of time to do it. But oh well. People are meditating and praying and doing their stuff. Oops, not what I wanted to see. Star Adam and Bin. So far, I've been going on for some time, and three cages have been linked up. It's midsummer. Three cages in half a season. So yeah, that will take some time. Because some of the well, all the dwarves have um, illness. So they go outside and be exposed to the sun and they're like, oh my god, we got problems and then they throw up everywhere. And I built this thing here with the intention of going... Can you just... Uh, bone? Decorate with bone. Just repeat that and keep repeating it. What's in these things, anyway? Finished goods bin full of figurines. Brilliant. Someone can decorate all the bloody figurines. I can have them decorate these as well. Eh. Mountain goat bone. Did that end up getting decorated? No. That'd be funny. Take some forever. Just go with some bone and decorate with bone. And do it now. Bone, decorate with bone. Now. Use up some of the freaking hordes of bones we have to clear out the uh, refuse pile. Because, boy, do we have a lot. A lot of refuse. All this is forbidden here, so I shouldn't be decorating any of that. No caravan has arrived. Dwarf, elf, or human. So, huzzah. It's been unfortunate in that regard. Trying to get that to fill. Yay. Taking for absolutely for bloody ever. Ah, what are you gonna do though? What are you gonna do? It takes forever, it takes forever. At least it is filling. There's not a heck of a lot going on. People are going about their usual general business. The military is doing striking generations, individual generations, demonstrations, combat drills, and so on. They're training up very quickly. Very quickly, which is nice. Huh. That doesn't sound good. Another forgotten beast. Curling trunk and is ravening. Its amethyst feathers are patchy. Dwarf its secretions. So, do you secrete gases or what? What do you do? We've got three uninvited guests now. You've obviously been on the map for a while. And frankly, you're beat the fuck up, too. You're a giant dung beetle. Strictly speaking, not entirely convinced that that's dangerous. The hell is that thing doing in there? It's a child. It's in the water. Is it drowning? No. It must know how to swim. <sighs> oh well. So, we zoom back up here. And... The archery room. 
Actually, I need to smooth this space. Uh, smooth it. Okay, and build. Target, 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 target. Be built out of wood. Do we have a lot of... Yeah, we made out of logs. Logs, logs, logs. Make it out of logs. I want to made out of logs. I don't want to made out of, like, fungi wood logs. Or mushrooms in general. Because I want to have a bunch of brown targets. And then we'll set this thing up. As a giant archery range for all the archery guys. Which there will ultimately be a lot of them. Logs, logs, logs. Lots of logs. They're all wood and not mushrooms. And there we go. That'll give us a bunch of archery targets for the archers to practice at. We've already got the doors in place there. Big old nice archery range. A couple of barrack spaces that'll have to be set up. And storage for stuff. And then, like this floor, will contain the treasury with all the legendary artifacts, masterworks things, and then crafting areas to decorate everything. And we'll have a huge pile of very valuable trade goods just there. Why? To be there. And what I might do is I'll build two artifact rooms, one here and then one here, and then put the entryway off the bedroom quarters for the king. Oh. Oops. I've been ignoring mandates. I ignored mandate. Now someone's unhappy. Okay, so someone wants me to make more shields, do they? It's been relatively quiet in terms of mandates lately, which is a bit weird. Ah, oh, we finally ran out of bags. How much in the way of powders do we have? 278 dimple die, 20, 20, 250, 105, 252. And 20. So yeah, we had a lot. Do we not have a lot of dyers? How many people do we have that dye clothing? Or dye cloth? Ah, uh, dyeing. Two. We have two. Just two. Now we have four. They won't do a brilliant job, but they will do a job. not have that set up. No, you do. Everybody else is good. I don't have dedicated doctors because I tried that once and I ended up with a bunch of doctors that just didn't care about their patients and um, would never do any doctoring. I was like, yep, we're not doing that anymore. So yeah. Dying masterpieces and everything. But it is going places. 
This flooding takes her absolutely forever. Is that four? I think that's got another layer up to go before it even reaches that point. <laughs> and then, gotta do that stuff too. <sighs> crazy, 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 crazy. Oh well. Yeah, uh, this will be a short episode because it's going, everything's going quite slowly. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back with another interesting event when that may happen. See ya! Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.